What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to go over ungating, but except I am going to go over exactly how to ungate Starbucks. Q4 is quickly approaching, like literally it's next week. And the more brands you have ungated, the more money you'll make. Let's get into it. In case you didn't watch my tell all video on ungating, which I don't know why you haven't yet, you need to get on that. Let me go over exactly how to place an ungate order. When doing an ungate, you must order 10 units of a product from a website that gives you an invoice. The product that you're ordering must be sold on Amazon and it must match the listing that you find. And lastly, you must place this ungate order with the same name and address that is on your Amazon seller account. You can find this information under the legal entity tab. Once you get the email that the order has shipped, then you can finally request the invoice. Once you get the invoice, do not submit. You then must wait for the product to get shipped to you. That way you can submit the invoice with product pictures. Make sure all of your product pictures are clear and make sure that you take a picture of all 10 units front and back. If you want to hear more specific details on how to ungate products on Amazon, make sure to go ahead and watch this video. It goes way more in depth, trust me. Now let's officially get in how to ungate Starbucks. Okay, you guys, so you already know we're gonna be using Target for this because Target gives the best invoice around. So for the purpose of this, we're going to be using one of these bags. So I'm gonna look at this one first this decaf one. Once I find one that I think might work, I then first want to always click on shipping because you have to get this product shipped to you. You can't do this as a um, in-store pickup. And then once I click shipping, then I want to make sure, can I order 10, right? Because I have to order 10. So this obviously seems like it can order 10. Always just add it to cart to make sure. And then from there, you're just going to copy this and paste it into Amazon because now we have to find that Amazon listing to match it up. Okay, so as you can see, I pasted the title of the Target um, listing into Amazon to find the same exact one. So as you can see, we're looking for a dark roast decaf and it needs to be 12 ounces. So now what I'm gonna do on this listing page, I'm just gonna kind of scroll through until I find the exact one that I'm looking for. So I'm looking for a one pack. I'm looking for it to be 12 ounces decaf. So this one looks like it is what we are looking for. So then from there, I think I found the best listing to match up this product. Now I need to grab the ASIN. So I'm gonna open up the free Nepeto extension. I need to make sure again, just in the listing, I like to just double check. Does it say Starbucks? Is it one bag, 12 ounces? Is it what we want, the decaf? I'm just going to grab this ASIN and I need to save that for when I wanna submit my own gate. And like I said, you guys, make sure to order those 10 units with the same name and address that are on your Amazon seller account. Again, you have to ship this product to you. Do not do a Target in-store pick up and once the product is shipped to you, you will see that the invoice is within your orders tab on Target. Then you will just submit this invoice and product pictures and you're good to go. Make sure to comment down below another brand that I should do a live ungating for. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That way you don't miss that new video that's posted every week. As always, let's keep finding and flipping.